I want people to think that they've, they have seen it before, but they haven't at all. So that's one of my things that I really like doing with my art, is to attract people that maybe not attracted to this style from the beginning. It's like I, I always use the double, like double meaning. I could be naked, I paint black on my teeth, for example. So it's like, you think I'm sexy, but you also think I'm, I'm disgusting at the same time. I'm from Sweden. In my village, it's three houses, and then it's just like woods, forest, my parents. They were kind of like the, the green wave hippies moving out to the countryside. Yeah, I felt alone, of course, and different. I was always dreaming of moving to the big cities. I always like dreamt of, of being a diva. But then my dad was very like, he's very into music. He had this like big selection of like, uh, like vinyls. He had one like Run DMC record and I was like, that was the best, like, mm. I loved it. I understood what hip hop dance could be or like break dance and, but also in Sweden, it was very like, it was not a lot of people doing it. I find this one guy doing it as a, in a party and I was like, oh my God, this is like exactly what I want to do. I've always been more into freestyling than, than into choreographies and stuff even when I was dancing. It's real, it's direct and you can't like, of course you can make mistakes, but it's already done. It's already seen. When I was 16, I moved to, to Gothenburg, which is a, a bigger city in Sweden, for a dance school, for a contemporary dance school. My life was, was dance. I couldn't stand the control freak I was and the not eating. And then from 16 to 19, I was going up, but still kind of like freaked out about food. That was like a, a period of life where I really like tried to fit in. I was like, wanting to be perfect, even if you couldn't see it, because it was so well controlled. And I looked so like free spirit, but I wasn't. <laughs> A lot of people in Sweden are very perfect. They have perfect skin, they have perfect bodies. Everybody looked so beautiful and I felt so weird. Like, I mean, I don't feel I'm ugly, but I just felt so like super stiff in between all these like perfect, relaxed styled mm -hmm. people. And I started also to go in therapy. I was like having panic attacks and like I was really in a bad moment of life. Yeah. And then I just felt like I have to leave Sweden. I have to go somewhere else and I have to be somewhere where I don't know anybody. Paris needed me and I needed Paris. And I was doing a lot of battles. I was still weird, crazy, uh, something else. I couldn't get all these like normal dance jobs because I was too tall or, or too uh, different. My two loves in the dance world was like ballet and break dance. Very feminine and very like masculine in a way. Even in my style, I always have those two sides very strong. In my own style, I really like when I can, when I can do anything in it. If I want to stand like, I don't know, if I want to spin on my head, I can do it. Okay, if I want to be sitting like this, I can. I'm wearing the just bouquet earrings and then this kind of like robe, it's, it's what I'm living in for the moment. It's like my fetish uh, thing. I love it. It's so comfortable. It feels like I'm at home all the time, even if I'm not. <laughs> this one, it's, it's my mother's, I like from her young, young years when she was married to a Yugoslavian boy. <laughs> it stands like illegal all over it. Yeah, I just feel like everything is censored. Every, like, you're legal and now soon we have everybody going to be illegal. I really like this dress. It's old cabaret dress and I think it's funny because it's open like between the legs so it's kind of like ghetto in a way <laughs> but still very very like sophisticated and well made. The best way of wearing heels it's probably with sports socks inside because then it's so much more comfortable and then beautiful fake diamonds. 2008 or something, I met what is now my performing art group, House of Drama. The thing is with Paris is that the people that are outsiders or different, they are at least 100%. They, they don't do it for fashion, they don't do it for fun. They do it because they cannot be anything else than who they are. So the people that I found here is like real, Real people, I don't know, real freaks. But then in the everyday life, I mean, it's it's not very easy. The other day, and they stopped with their scooter and they was like, your pussy stinks. And I was like, thank you very much. And just like reacting directly. So they 
field that you're they cannot continue in but still with as positive vibe as I can. You have to be a beginner to be something. I know from experience that when you're very new at something, it's like the the curiosity and the and the improvisation and it's so like in the now, in the present. So it becomes like magic.